everybody, this is Gary Rink over at Bakersfield Sound Company with a little bit of exciting news. We are officially attack a mini dealer and we got our first shipment in last week. And I just want to show you one of the models that we received. This is the GD30CE. It's part of the G series from Takamini. Uh, CE standing for Cutaway Electric. It's an acoustic electric guitar. And uh, this is a really, really easy to play and beautiful sounding instrument. I was actually quite surprised when I was playing it when it first came out of the box. Um, we're going to go over a couple of the features and show you what it sounds like and give you some of the, the basic specifications on this guy. Like most acoustic electric guitars, it's a 25 and a half inch scale length from nut to saddle. And this guitar features a rosewood fingerboard. It is a solid Sitka spruce top right here. You can see the little book match seam through the center there. And then the back and sides are laminated mahogany. You'll also see it has a satin finished mahogany neck, which is super important to me. Everybody's different. I have a personal thing where I'm not really into a very painted or glossy necks. When my hands sweat, they start to get sticky on the back. So I really appreciate when they do a matte or satin type finish on the back of these. Um, in addition to that, you have some cool binding and purfling, including um, some mother of pearl around the rosette here. There's some mother of pearl fret indication markers as well. We also have their new logo you'll see. It used to say G Series underneath there. I always thought it looked a little tacky. I think this looks really sharp. Other than that, you've got their three band EQ preamp that is directly from Takamini. And like most modern acoustic electric guitars, this has a built-in tuner so that when I engage the tuner, it also mutes the output to the front of house. And that's super important, especially if you're playing direct like most of us do in a band or worship setting um, and you don't have a tuning pedal, you can always click on the tuner there and it's going to mute you out front of house so nobody has to hear you tune. So uh, these are priced, uh, matte pricing at these are $459.99. And I'm just gonna give you a couple of examples of how the preamp works and show you a little finger style and a little of pick playing as well. So check this out. So I'm gonna begin right now. We're playing through the Trace Elliott Trace Acoustic TA35 acoustic guitar amp, which is just a little tiny eight inch um, acoustic electric amplifier. And we've got everything on the TACA Mini actually set completely flat. So. At first, this is going to sound a little mid-range heavy or nasally, but I'll explain why that can be important. So this is just the natural voice of this guitar. <laughs> solo setting that can be very nasally mid-range heavy. I will say that if you were accompanying a full electric band and there was distortion present or something with a lot of harmonic content like a B3 organ, that mid-range is actually going to translate to something that's much more percussive and forward sitting in the mix. So I can easily see myself playing with this guitar set completely flat with a pick trying to cut through heavy guitars or like a Leslie organ, something like that. Now, the great thing about having a three band uh, EQ on the instrument is if you're having feedback problems, you can do that from the instrument at its source. It also means if you're going straight to a DI, for instance, at a church, um, and you don't have control over your sound in any other way, you can shape that from here. So rather than boosting bass and treble, um, which you absolutely could, you have a three band EQ. Um, I'm actually going to cut the mid-range here. It's going to give the same effect as if I boosted the bass and treble. Um, I'm going to increase the gain a little bit to compensate, and you're going to hear that how this sort of mid-range heavy sound is going to instantly translate into something that sounds great for solo acoustic with a lot more roundness on the bottom and clarity on the top. So with a little bit of notching, I'll try and play something similar with the pick so you can hear that first. <laughs>
the mid-range uh, a little carved out, it gives room for the ears to actually hear lower and higher frequencies. Something it took me years to really understand is that it's not always about the overall level. You can't just look at a signal and say, oh, that's got a little bit more bass, a little bit more mid-range, a little bit more treble, because the way that actually translates to your ears is very different. And I had to learn about the way that mid-range, when pushed, can actually mask your ability to hear low end and high end. So just by cutting a little bit and then compensating with the volume, I get this really nice sound. I can tell you right now, if I was in that other setting, you know, with a lot of mid-range, a lot of harmonic content, it would be very hard to hear this guitar in that sort of environment. But in a smaller environment, duos, trios, solo singer-songwriting stuff, this sounds absolutely beautiful to my ears. I'll play a little finger style and see how that translates, especially listen to the bottom end because that's really how this stuff really gets shaped just by scooping a little bit of the mid range. And as far as where I'm scooping, I believe this thing, yeah, it's right smack in the middle, right around 500 Hertz. So um, I'm gonna listen to that finger style real quick. So that right there is the uh, the Takamini GD30CE in a natural finish. Come on down here to Bakersfield Sound Company and check out these guitars. We also received a black 12 string and a couple of ukuleles and we have a couple more non-electric dreadnoughts similar to this coming in the uh, uh, next two to three weeks. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching. We'll catch you next time.